Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to part 4, where we will be making a new file called player.lua. So, first of all, open game mode and open init.lua. Uh, oh, it's over here. It's hard to have a set of screens. These programs pop up everywhere. Okay, uh, include, not shared, but player.lua. There we go. And new file text document player.lua. Open the player.lua. Here we go. And before we do anything in here, Let's open shared.lua. Uh, to make teams in Gary's mode, uh, Gary has made a swell uh, function for us to use when we're setting up teams, and it's called team.setup. The reason why I'm writing this outside a function in the shared Lua is because the server and the client needs to know this information and this information needs to be known from the server uh, uh, from the, the second you start the server so team.setup right under this game mode information zero so team zero is going to be blue call it whatever you like call it bitches if you want to and color uh, to make blue uh, the color setup is like this the first argument is red, then green, then blue, then alpha, but we're not going to use alpha. So let's ignore that. I think the default value for alpha is 255, so it means no alpha. Then just copy paste the line and uh, make team 1 red. Let's make those red. There we go, now the teams have been set up. Now we just need a function to, to make our players enter a team. So, okay, I'm gonna teach you something quite advanced, which not all game mode coders know about. Which is called meta tables. So local ply in this file, this will only apply in this file, player.lua, since I put local here equals find meta table oops oh yeah by the way uh, large and small letters have uh, have something to say in the file so I don't know how to say it in proper English but do not mix large and small capital and small letters have to be as they are uh, player so the player entity will now be accessible with the ply, uh, uh, ply variable. So we can, for example, make a function called function ply, and notice, uh, it's actually a function inside the player entity now. Set game mode team. Uh, set team is already a function, so we're not going to use that, because it's useful. And as a matter of fact, we're going to use it in just this function. So, if n, we do not want people to be able to join a function which does not, which does not exist. Remember, we had team 0 and 1. And to make people unable to join a, an existing team, we have to check for it in the start of the function. So, if, if uh, I were to be a stupid as to put a number in the first argument, which is not 0 or 1, this function should just stop. It should be a douchebag and just walk away. So if n is smaller than 0, or n is larger than 1, then return end. Doesn't want to do it. Fuck this shit. Then we're gonna use the set team function. Notice that I can't use ply uh, in this function because it's not a part of the arguments. We are 
setting a function inside an entity. So we need to use self instead of ply in this case. Set team. So self is the same as the player entity at this moment of time. If n equals equals zero, then uh, the double equal signs means that n has to be zero for this to be true. Then self, and here's a new function in Garry's mod 13. It's very cool and sleek and neat. You can set the player color of the player's player model, the clothing, if it's uh, if the model is made a certain way. Uh, so we gotta make sure the player is using a proper player model before we do anything else. But self set player color. Notice that it hasn't got a custom color in the add-on for Notepad++. It's brand new, and it uses a vector to set color. If this has been um, changed, because this is a quite new function, or it's not working, please put it in the comments so I can fix it, add an annotation to the proper name or a, a fix tutorial, which I'm gonna put out if that happens. Uh, notice that I put dot two here. Uh, dot two is the same as zero point two, so point two I mean. Uh, but uh, when you're getting to one, you have to put dot zero. This is float values, as they're called. Google it. I like to have spaces here. There we go. If not, uh, else if so, it checks again. If n equals 1, then just copy paste this. Remember, the vector here is red, green, blue as the previous one. Um, 0 point, uh, 1.0 and point 0.2. And then end the if statement. Okay, so far so good. I believe we're done here now. Let's just do a return true at the bottom here and return false up there. So if we have a variable before this function in our game mode code, it will be either false or true. True if the game mode setting was done properly or false if it's not done properly. X. Okay, uh, open init.lua. We need to make sure this function is being, is being called. Let's put you up here. Uh, okay. Inside the player initial spawn. I guess we'll have to put it there. For now, we'll make a menu to change teams. Eventually. Set game mode team to 1. Then we need to uh, grab a new hook from the game mode hooks. Which is called game mode player set mode. This function is called every time a player spawns, in any case. And it's meant to set the player model. It doesn't have to, because it's basically just an extension of player spawn. The player spawn hook. Uh, apply set model. And here's a long, long string. It's models slash player slash group 01 slash mail 07.mdl. That is the, uh, the model, the default model that we're gonna use. We're also going to make a menu to choose player model, of course. But for now, let's use this. Right, I believe we're done for now. Let's go and check if it works. Okay, so let's find the local dedicated server. By the way, if you haven't uh, seen a tutorial on how to make a dedicated server, please do. And uh, how to um, yeah, select, uh, run a custom game mode. I think I, uh, I say it in the tutorial. How to do it. So here we go, loading. Receiving server info, that's gonna take a goddamn while. 
I tell you. Oh, okay. Wasn't that bad? By the way, the, FP the FPS of this recording is pretty bad. Since I didn't get fraps to work on. Gary Small 13. So here we are. Um, uh, the scoreboard doesn't tell us anything yet. Let's set... Um, ah, yes. I need to do uh, SV cheats 1 to be able to see ourselves. Then third person. Here we are. Our model is set to uh, male 07 and we have red clothing. Isn't that dandy? So now, let's go ahead and change some values. Blades in it and uh, let's set our team to zero instead. I would just reconnect and this time we should be blue. There might be a bugged up situation when we join now since we set the third person option on, which is not uh, properly coded. There we go, now we're blue, yeah. So the teams are working. Everything as it should. Okay, animations does not pop up on the third person. That's alright. And we're done for this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.